hi guys hello lovelies welcome back to my channel Thank you for stopping by. My name is Kemi and I live in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. If you're a returning subscriber, my lovelies, my beautiful people, thank you so much for always coming back, okay? So, today I'm going to be talking about something really interesting, something that I've been asked a couple of times. But before, let me, you know, finish up my intro. So, the goal is to reach 10,000 subscribers by the end of December 2023. We are in the end of March now. We're already at 3,400 there about subscribers. So I know it is possible. huh? I know you guys can make this come true. So thank you so much. If you're watching this and you still not yet subscribed, please subscribe, okay? Share with friends, like, turn on post notifications, and also drop comments in the comment section. Go and watch my previous videos, okay? Trust me, I know you'll find something you're going to love. All right? Thank you so much. Also, guys, I would like you to please follow me across my other social media channels, my Instagram, my TikTok. I have a TikTok now. No, my Facebook. Just show me some love there also, all right? So let's grow it all together at the same time. Thank you so much. So welcome back, guys. Today, like I said, we are going to be talking about something interesting. Now, I decided to talk about this at this moment because I've got a lot of people asking me to talk about this. I've got a lot of questions about cost of living, cost of living, cost of living. Now, if you remember in one of my previous videos, I talked about Winnipeg being, you know, relatively um, affordable when it comes to cost of living compared to some other provinces like British Columbia, you know. So today I'm going to be sharing cost of living here in Winnipeg, my own personal cost of living here in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Now, this is a disclaimer. This cost of living does not cut across everyone living in Winnipeg, right? This is my own personal cost of living. So it depends on if you live in a house, it's going to be different. If you live in a more expensive apartment, it's going to be different, okay? So I'm going to be sharing my own personal cost of living. Also, let me put it out there that I find it really not very easy i'm i'm not gonna say it's not possible i find it a bit difficult for you to have like maybe just a person maybe you it's a family right in a household i find it difficult for just one person and household working to sustain that household let's say just the husband is working you know like we have in our country especially from where i'm coming from from nigeria where you can have just the husband working and the woman is a housewife and is able to sustain the family right but here i found out that it's not really that that, um you know it's not that easy okay because um there's a lot of bills to be paid right so it's not very easy for you to have just the husband working and then he's able to cater for maybe three four kids and also cater for the wives and all of that mostly i'll find that both couples here are working and um, that way they're able to enjoy all they need to enjoy and uh, you know have a full life that they want in um uh, in wherever they live in whatever province they live i hope you get my point right so i'm not saying um there are people who don't have maybe one member of the family working or one member of the household working it's possible but i'm saying it might be a bit difficult for them to make hands meet with just one person or just one member of the just one adult of the household working I hope you guys get my point all right so that being said that being put out there let's talk about my personal or my household cost of living here in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Are you ready? Are you ready? No, I didn't say that one very well. Are you ready? Oh, I don't think I can ever have this Canadian accent. I don't think it's, it's the Nigerian accent is is in depth, it's born, is is intertwined with my <laughs> all right guys. I play I play too much. Oh goodness. I play too much. So, yes, let's talk about cost of living, my household's cost of living here in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. So, the first thing I'm going to be talking about as our cost of living here in Winnipeg is rent. Yes. So, we live presently in a two-bed apartment in the south part of Winnipeg. And um, so, our cost of rent here is 1100 so we pay 1100 on our rent for a two bed and one bath apartment um this rent does not include hydro so on a separate note we also pay 65 dollars on hydro yes and this is because we have a fixed rate so you have the opportunity of choosing a fixed rate for you to pay every month that way um if there's a if you spend lower 
um, hydro is hoeing you and you spend higher then you have to pay I hope you understand so we chose to pay $65 every month in summers that amount goes down when they check our readings we find out that we actually don't use up to $65 but it's possible that in winter you use more I hope you understand so that way at the end of the year your account balances in most cases um, Hydro might have to, Manitoba Hydro might have to pay you back. Or if you use more, you're yeah, someone that runs your um, heater all night. We don't run, run our heater all night. If you're someone who runs your heater all night, or you cook a lot, you're always baking, then you have more to spend on Hydro. I hope you get that. So, 1100 on rent, $65 on Hydro. The next one is our internet. I believe you guys already know that <laughs> you really can't do without internet here. So, because the internet for the TV and all of that. So we spend $73 on internet, just internet, not internet and TV. There are some plans that have both internet and TV, but has is just internet and it is $73 and it is with Bell, Bell MTS. Um, so let's go to the cocoa of the, of the situation. This is the one that gobs the highest. Yeah, it's actually the highest which is groceries. Yes, let's talk about groceries. Now, in a month, I put here $450. Now, this can go lower and this can go higher. You know, there are some months when you say, okay, today I want to eat fresh fish, if you if you know what I mean, right? Also, there are some months where you are doing like bulk purchases. Maybe we are buying a bag of rice. Now, this figure is for the time if you are buying a bag of rice or... um. The bag of rice from Superstore is usually 18 kg. I recommend that guys, that rice by the way, that is called long parboiled green rice. That rice is nice. I recommend it. That's just, I digress. Oh, Kemi. So back to the situation, back to what we are talking about. So these groceries, this amount I've quoted for groceries is for, let's say those months where you are buying a whole lot of new things. Maybe you are buying a bag of tissue papers, you're buying, you know, so it can be lower. And in very rare cases, it can actually be higher. Maybe there's a month where you're buying a lot of things in bulk. Maybe you're buying your rice in bulk, you're buying your noodles in bulk, you're buying your pasta in bulk, then it might go a lot higher. Or there are times you just want to indulge and say, oh, today I want to buy a carton of turkey and just enjoy myself. So like I said, it can be lower, it can be, you know, it can be lower and it can be higher, right? So 450 on groceries, it depends on your taste, it depends on what you want to buy, but that is for me. Okay. The next thing I want to talk about is car insurance and um, car repayment. So for our own car, our insurance is $160 every month. And also the car repayment is $130 bi-weekly. So that means in a month, that's $260. I hope you understand. So total on car is $160 plus $260, which is um, $420. Did I get that right? Ah, good. My brain is still <laughs> so yes ah, that's almost i think that's actually the highest i think no i i take that back groceries is not taking the most ah my husband would have said ah, that means no i take that back now i'm happy so groceries is actually not taking the bulk of the money it is actually car yes because the insurance is 160 repayment is two well, 260 in a month, 260 plus 160, that's 420. Now let's go to gas. <laughs> gas, yes. Filling up your car. The gas in a week. So every week, fill up is like 60 between 60 to 70 dollars full tank. Also, because right now it's winter, you have to run on it. Um, yes, eat now. Yes, winter, you have to put on your eater. I believe that contributes to um, how much you burn gas. I believe it's just, I think it's just science, right? Um, the more energy you use, the more gas you burn, right? So, in a month, I put a rough estimate of gas here for $250. That means car is taking $420 plus $250. That's $670. Ah, <laughs> that's a lot of money guys now putting you know one thing guys you don't really know how much you spend right on some of these things you don't know how much you spend in a month until you actually put pen to paper and now putting pen to paper to this that's some money <laughs> that's some money right there okay so let's talk about entertainment and recreation yes now what i mean by entertainment and recreation is and actually this one varies right i just put 120 dollars now recreation for maybe uh, our daughter's lessons so we have swimming lessons 
the last three months she was doing ballet lessons right and we paid 88 dollars for that and that ran for like two three months so it's not monthly it's not a monthly thing right um so that one is not every month but then we just put it at 120 because there are also times that you want to spend money more you want to go out you want to you know i also had that like eat out um restaurants to recreation and entertainment right because there are times you want to eat out you want to do extra i just you know maybe do something out of the ordinary i remember so this depends right also in times like december we tend to spend more recreation and <laughs> entertainment right because it's just giving you've been working for the whole year it's the end of the year you just have to relax and take care of yourself relax and be taken care of right so this one um it can even go up higher when it comes to that time of the month right because i think i remember december we bought tickets to a Disney show. That one is, is a, so it depends. It varies. So it depends on how much you enjoy life, how much you like to go out, how much you like to eat out, and all of that. But here, yeah, yeah, you will agree with me that it pays you to cook your food, right? If you're someone who works maybe in an office, it pays you to cook your food in your house, eh? Pack it and take it to the office because by the time you go to Tim Hortons, get one donut. So that's why you people will see I make everything like most of the things at home i make pies i make donuts i make puff puff i make ice cream name it right i make it at home so there are just times that you feel like oh let me enjoy myself because guys you only live once eh you cannot be walking and walking and walking so sometimes you also want to enjoy and take care of yourself though that's how am I giving you guys pep talk? Back to the matter. No more pep talk. No more pep talk. Okay, so the next one is miscellaneous. Now, I put miscellaneous that there are times for me, right? Now, I'm the one who spends this miscellaneous most of the times, right? Not just me, right? Also, there are times I like things being moved around. I like things not being the same. I like to put things differently. Maybe in the kitchen, I want to buy something or I want to hang something. You know, just those miscellaneous things. It can range from maybe parchment paper. Yes, mainly kitchen utensils, right? Parchment paper to foil paper to Ziploc bags and sandwich bags. Um, you know, those little, little things that you need in the kitchen. Some things you need in the bathroom. Um, and wash. Of which, oh, those are already part of the grocery, right? So, you understand my point, right? Just little, little things that you might need. Those fall that you might need maybe from places like Dollarama or Dollar Stores. And by the way, guys, if <laughs> Dollar Stores have a way of, you know, by the time you say, oh, it's a Dollar Store, you buy $1 today, $2 today, $3 today, $4 today, $1, 50 cents, those things add up. And then at the end of the day, you see that in a month, you spent $50 on those kind of, those little, little, little chain, those little, little money you spend in Dollar Stores, right? So I put those ones under miscellaneous. Now, that is the household expenses. So, after summing up all of these expenses, I come to a total of $2,540 monthly expenses. Mm, it's not bad, guys. I say it's not bad because I've seen a lot more figures, like higher figures from people's... You know, I've also watched people's YouTube videos and I've actually seen higher figures, especially people that live in other provinces like... Um, you know, um, Alberta and all of that. So I think it's fine. I try. I'm a good manager, <laughs> but I can do better. Even for me looking at this, I can do better because if you look at this, compare this with monthly income, you know, that tells you if you're spending too much because if all of your monthly income goes into expenses, then something is wrong somewhere, right? So looking at this, it also helped me to know that, okay, this is where I can cut maybe cut more on this, cut more on that, cut on that, cut on that, cut on that. So now you understand what I mean when I say that it is best to have two adults or maybe the man and the woman working so that you put resources together into a couple of things because you also have your own personal expenses, right? Now, guys, remember that this does not include my own personal shopping, right? There are times I want to maybe get myself some pretty good dresses. I want to get myself... This is not, this is not included in that, right? So, yes... This is how much we spend as a household in a month. And this does not include our own different personal expenses. This does not include... Remember, I didn't even mention clothes, right? I didn't mention clothes for our daughter. I didn't mention clothes for myself or for my husband. Those are different, right? This is just like general expenses for everyone. I didn't include those ones because 
of course it's not it's not constant it's not it's not like we buy clothes every month you don't have to spend money on clothes every month but then these are like the constant the main expenses that you have to run as a household I hope that is clear guys i hope you understand my point please let me know in the comment section if this video was helpful if you found it useful if you know i made sense i want to know did i make sense did i speak to you was it useful to you <laughs> thank you so much guys i hope you've liked if you have not liked please right now before i end this video go and like it huh i have to be re reinforcing this every time so please like it if you have watched up to this moment that means you enjoyed it so please just ah, ah, give me my onions like it okay um subscribe if you are here to turn on post notifications if there's also any other video you want me to talk about you want me to share with you you know what just put it in comment section and I'll get back to you, okay? Till I see you again another time, I say bye for now.